Hey everyone, it's Steve, the Nortel guy. In this video, I want to show you how I set up TalkRoute's call stacking. So it took me a few minutes to figure it out. Um, they mentioned it a little bit on the support site, but don't really go into the detail. So if I had a few minutes to spend to figure out, I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. Uh, we're going to go to the screen recording here in just a minute, but just essentially, if you're not familiar, call stacking is almost like a call queue. Not exactly, but it works a lot like a call queue. And it's kind of unusual for a platform at this price point to have that. So let me go show you how to set that up. So in the manager, that's what they call it, the manager, which is essentially the, the kind of the settings and configuration tool. This is where you let's start at the top of the page. So here's the top of my page. It's got your, your number or numbers that, that come inbound. And then in the call menu, I've got a few different things going on. I've got like an announcement and then I've got some options for my, choose, for my users to choose. Well, one of them is the sales team. And this is where I set this up. So I click here on edit. And what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, try to reach this person when someone chooses option two. But if they're not available, then I can have them sit on hold for 30 seconds and listen to music while they're trying to get me, or I can have them sit on hold for five minutes. And not only that, but instead of just having Steve as one of the agents available in that group, I could also pick another one. I could choose, say, Agent 1. All right, so we'll put Agent 1. So now if either Steve or Agent 1 is available, the call will route to them. But if neither of them is available, then it will sit on hold for whatever I choose, 5, 4, 3, whatever. So let's say 3. And then what I can do is at the end of three minutes, if neither one of these people, myself or the test agent, have become available, then I can say, okay, you know, once that maximum time has been reached, why don't we send the call either to voicemail, um, disconnect the call, which I can't think of why you would do that, but okay. Um, or you could send them back to a menu, which you could send them back to the original call menu, or you could create a sub menu to let them know that all agents are busy and that here's some other choices for them to choose. Because essentially what you're, you're doing is you're asking your caller to hold on until you become available. But you don't want to leave them in there for forever. Usually two to four minutes is probably a good rule of thumb for maximum amount of time. At the end of that time, because you haven't offered them any other option to get out of jail, what you could do is send them to a sub menu, letting them know that they could either you know, press this button to leave a voicemail or press a different button to have their call redirected back to the main menu or maybe routed to some other option or even have them go back into the original queue if they want to continue to hold for another two or three minutes to see if, if one of us becomes available to take that call. All right, so, so that's what I figured out. It works really well. Here, let me save this and I'll show you what that sounds like. So after you've made your changes, don't forget to click save and close. So then when the call comes in, let's do this. Let's see, do I have a redial? All right, so this is my call going in. Hello, we're glad you called us at ABC Company today. You're welcome to dial an extension. So that's the pre-announcement and now the options. If you want product support, press one. For pre-sales questions about products and pricing, press two. Okay, so with two. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna try to route the call. So now notice my caller is listening to music. My caller is just listening to music. And now it's trying to route the call. So see, my, my desktop software for my phone is the call is routing, okay? But maybe I'm a stepped away from my desk, or it's possible I might already be doing something else. Even if I was on the phone, it would know, hey, he's on the phone, so don't try him, try the other test agent. The point being is that to the caller, this is transparent. All they know is that they're just waiting for someone to become available. They don't see what's going on behind the scenes. So see, it tried me, it's gone away. It's trying to look for agent test one now. Probably in about 30 seconds, it'll come back and try me again. And that'll just repeat over and over until either one of us becomes available and I answer the call, or they've reached the end of that time and then I, I just got done telling you about that a few minutes ago. All right, so that's call stacking. Um, if you're not familiar with Talk Route or you wouldn't know more about it, I've got a link in the comments right there. If you look at, if you look at the comments underneath the video, you'll see the top comment will have the, the link in there, or I'll see if I can put it in the description or something like that for you. All right, hope it helps you out with call stacking and talk route. Thanks for watching.